Hello there, how's it going? So, I've seen videos online running you through gear and they take like 20 minutes to watch. I will try and run through gear as quick as I can. So, you've got your main menu here. When you click gear, you've got your gear pieces. I'm going to run you through what I'm doing with this. I'm only mid-game right now at level 30. So I have this pistol here, which is absolutely fantastic. It's the R500 Memento at tier 4. It also has a little like bonus thing on it, which I'll explain in a second. To get this, I had to go to the Starcom wish machine. So how this machine works is you place it in your base, you have two options. You can gamble or you can just buy a blueprint. You go to the blueprint shop that are here. So I bought the pistol with 8,000 Starcom. You get Starcom from just playing the game. I can make a video on that if you want, but if not, that's fine. Once you buy this, you don't actually buy the gun, you buy the blueprint. Now blueprints are basically your bread and butter. When you have a blueprint, you have to go to a crafting bench, such as the intermediate one here that I have. And this is where you can craft them. So I have the little gun here that I bought from the machine. There are different tiers on which I can craft. Now these are basically dependent on your level or your bench. I got mine at tier 4 right now, and then you need certain resources to craft it. You just put them into these slots. And you craft it with the currency there. Now you might be asking me, but how do I just farm blueprints in general? That is quite straightforward. You just go to the strongholds. Now a stronghold is like this here. These little icons, if I zoom in. These tell you what it is, so it's level 23 area. And in these areas, there will be one, I think they call them exotic chests, or something like that. When you open this exotic chest, they call it exotic chest now. Exotic chest? That doesn't sound right. They're cold now. No matter, they're the exotic chests. I want to call them that for the time being. You will get blueprint fragments out of them. Now, these blueprint fragments are what you use to unlock the weapon to be able to craft it. How that works is we have a blueprints menu. This is where you'll find all of them. So for instance, let's go into shotguns. Let's say I want to craft myself this here. Now, if you look at the top right of the little blue box here, it says 40 out of 40 pieces. That's because when I opened up an exotic chest, I got the fragments for this 40 out of 40. And it's only rare. If you want to just narrow this down to what you've already got, you click this little box here, blueprint fragments, and BPs that are locked, you can then see what you can unlock. Like you just saw, I can unlock the shotgun, I can unlock the curve bore. You don't have to spend these blueprint fragments, you can save them for higher tier stuff. So I got 60 out of 60 for the stun button, for example. But once you unlock that, that's when you just head to the bench that like I just showed you there, and you craft it. Same for armor as well, there's a section just the other. All the pieces in there. You'll need the exotic chests with the blueprint pieces inside to be able to unlock them. So right now I could unlock the agent set fragment if I wanted to. I'm just going to save them though because I don't want to unlock that piece right now. So that's why I have 30 out of 15. Now let me explain gear a little bit more. So in here you have gear and they have set pieces so for instance the raid set this is what it's called the raid set it has at level one gathering speed plus 15 percent level two max load plus 20 level three when the load is over 80 your damage taken is reduced by 10 percent your weapon and tactical item damage are boosted by 20 percent and then you have level four which is stamina cost minus 30 percent when gliding and rolling you can only activate these different raid set pieces by wearing more of the pieces so if you want level two you have to wear two of the raid sets so let's look at something else that i've got on. so i'm wearing the scout set right now i only have two pieces on so if you look there it says green max hp and pin damage they are in green right now it shows you that i'm wearing the chest piece and the mask so you can mix and match it or you can wear full-on sets you just need to look at the buffs that you want and that's how it works now if you right click it or click on um Modify, whichever button that may be, because they're going to add controller stuff later on. That brings up the little mod menu you've got. Now, mods come from weapon crates or armor crates. They are also in the stronghold zones. You get told to go fetch them as well with a little quest. So, you've got to find the exotic chest, and you've got to find the gear and armor crates as well. Uh, there's numerous gear and armor crate locations as well. Plenty of some random spawns in them zones. I don't think they're always in the same place. Don't quote me on that. When you, when you start getting mods though, this is when you want to come to this menu. I think I've got mods on everything I have. But like on the mask here, you click it, you'll see your available mods that you've got. So they all do different things, like this one here will give me 12% melee damage. It's the basic effect that you get. Like this one here, weapon damage plus 9%. So these are little buffs that you can apply to your armor and weapons. 
if you want to make them better so you want the attribute effects as well where it says tier 2 and tier 3 you have to click enhance and then use the armor mod parts that you can find also through looting crates as well right now i have 48 i'm going to save them because i don't want to mess with these just yet but that's how you add mods to your gear as well to buff them so you've got mods that you can add to your gear and you've also got set pieces as well and then we've also talked about blueprints where you farm them from exotic crate locations in the strongholds then you unlock them here it says fuse on the bottom left so for instance f that's where you click that i can't do that right now it'll just say error and then you unlock it and that's where you come to your workbench here and you craft the weapon that you unlock now when it comes to the reset in a couple weeks time or whenever it is that you're watching this video you get to keep all your unlocked blueprints so just keep that in mind that is my basic gear knowledge in a nutshell if you want to look at all your available mods you can look at them here you can do whatever you want to do with them you can even equip them from here if you like also a bonus tip you can see your gear say you've got this helmet on you don't like it you highlight it the bottom prompt is at the bottom it says hide gear just click v that way you're still wearing the armor but you can't see it any questions leave them in the comments below and i'll make another video answering them and i'll try and explain it a bit more if i've missed anything or if you want to correct me in the comments as well go for it like i said i'm only level 30 so i'm not 100 percent there at the end game just yet but from my knowledge that is what i've learned so far and hopefully my very quick explanation and it's very quick has helped you understand a little bit more as well just because it was very daunting for me when I first started looking into it. But I feel like I can explain it in a more simpler process. So hope that helps. Take care of yourself.